So what you're looking at here is, uh, this is just the home dashboard. Like I said, this is what you'll see when you first log into your account. Uh, and the, the way they've set this up is basically these four panels here. They have beginner lessons, experience lessons, learn songs, and learn styles. And then if you go, uh, if you go down, they're going to just kind of keep track of what you've uh, looked at recently. So you can see I've um, been looking at some of these cover tutorials and then they have uh, a section down here for their uh, newest tutorials, which, which they release a lot of. And, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm probably going to, there, there, there's enough new content on Guitar Tricks that you could probably, you could probably re-examine it every roughly year and a half because uh, they, they do release a lot of stuff. They do a lot of song lessons like you can see up here and that's what a couple of these are. And um, you can see that like this was three days ago, this lesson was three days ago, one week, two weeks. So they have new stuff coming out all the time and they already have a really large base of content. They already have over 11,000 lessons and, <clears throat> excuse me, I think their song tutorials, uh, which I'll go ahead and click on here, we'll look at that first. Uh, I, I think the total is is close to a thousand, and all of their materials fully licensed. And when I uh, when I worked for them, uh, I I remember them talking a little bit about the process they go through to uh, make sure that their songs are licensed and that they can you know first of all use them legally and so that they can actually use um, the real tabs uh, which which you have to have a license to do believe it or not um, so just for example i think that's why if you go and look at here we'll go to the Jimi hendrix songs we used to get a lot of questions about um let's see all artists we used to get a lot of questions about why they didn't have uh, any Jimi hendrix stuff on there and let's see if he's you know so they have a section here and yeah they they only have one song they have hey joe and i'm i'm pretty sure that was because uh because of licensing issues so so anyway all all that to say their their song section is really really good uh, and i think it's one of the strengths of this program, you know, Guitar Tricks doesn't necessarily have um, the the most courses, and they don't necessarily have uh, the the biggest diversity of styles that they cover. Um, but they do a really really good job with this section. So uh, just to recap uh, from the front uh, dashboard here, the way you get to this, I'll go back is you just go to this Learn to Play Songs box, click on that, and then you're going to get into um, just a bunch of different ways to sort this and this can be a little bit overwhelming but uh, what I always like to do when I'm looking for stuff you can see up here they have the styles um, kind of sorted out they have metal rock blues this is this is you know just all different ways to sort the content and then they have a master list um, but what I like to do is click on view all artists and then it's gonna have uh, you know kind of a, a parsed out uh, alphabetical list of everything that they cover and you can see it's just a ton of stuff so like I don't know let's see for example if you, if, if you if any of you follow Guitar Chalk you'll know that I'm a really big tool fan so let's go here. I'll see if they have any new tool stuff so there they have tool and they have sober lateralis and schism so I've I've been through these because I'm a big tool fan but uh, I'll just go ahead and click on one to show you if you click on one of the songs, it's going to give you this lesson page, and this is pretty similar to you know if you're going through the courses, what you're going to see uh, in in just the regular lesson content as well. And this little box right here, uh, over on the right hand side where it says contents, that's where the actual uh, the, each one of these list items is a video. So if you click on Begin Tutorial, uh, it's going to take you to uh, this player uh, video player page and it starts automatically we'll pause that there so if you look down on the right hand side all this tutorial content is listed here so uh, what you can do if you don't want to go through the welcome and you know whatever you can just kind of navigate to whatever section you want so let's say I don't know I know some of this song let's say I want to work on the bridge you go ahead and click bridge part one 
Um, they'll kind of have the tabs here. That, like I said, this is all licensed material, and the and the interface they the have. The first is, half of the bridge reprises the intro with some interest. Mike there. Um, the, the this format where they they've kind of broken stuff up into these four squares is fairly new, um, and I think uh, I think it's a re really good change from the old format they used to have. Uh, here you go. You can still access it. Let's click on the old lesson page. Yeah, so this wasn't bad, um, but uh, it it bumped the tabs down here into uh, into this section, which you know required another click to get to. Um, and then it, it was just a little bit outdated, uh, and I think they did a good job upgrading it. It's a really nice, kind of clean look, and it just gives you a lot uh, of material in in one spot. So I'm actually I'll go ahead and watch some of the video here for those of you that are curious about it. This is Michael Lexi. Uh, the first half of the this bridge of the reprises the intro with some interesting variations. Let's see it up to speed. Anyway, he's going to demo it. Grabbing the A note, the seventh fret of the D. Skip forward a little bit. He's going to kind of go through the detail of how to play that part. And it's not a really complex part, but here's just a little bit of uh, the explanation. All right. Then sliding down on the low string to the third fret, also holding on to that A note, seventh fret of the D. And then this first time through, it's just the low string and that A note. Let it ring out. All right, then we're going to start to build off that. So the second time through, it looks like this. So it's a really detailed explanation. Where he's going to touch on every little thing. Okay. So we're slowly going to add little bits of that main intro riff coming back in throughout. Okay, so this... So anyway, that's the, that's kind of the process that they use for these songs is they just take a chunk like you see here in the tab and they have the backing track, which oddly enough is not the actual song. You could tell it was not um, it was not Tool actually playing that track. Uh, I think they do their own backing tracks and I'm, I'm not entirely sure how or why they do that because like I said, they do have the license to use the actual music. Um, but anyway, that's really neither here nor there. You can you can use the the these little uh, 2.0x, 1.5x, uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.9. You can use these to slow down the track. This one is gonna go. So that's helpful for particularly for stuff that gets more complicated. Because I'll go ahead and back up here and see if we can find something. Let's go back to the go back to the home page here. Let's find something a little bit more complex. What, where I really like this uh, section is um, for for finding songs that that cover solos that I have a hard time learning because uh, because these guys get them perfect for every song. So like let's try some Godsmack here. Uh, the the solo for Awake I think is really cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, so this is, I think this is also Mike Alexi. Yeah, it is. So he's going to show you how to do the, the uh, solo for Awake. And and where this gets can be really helpful is, is not only is he going to explain it, but I'll pause that here. You can use these features to slow it down. Uh, and that's something you could do on YouTube as well. Uh, but it, but it's helpful to go along with the explanation. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, you've got the tab here. It's pretty clear. So let's go ahead and watch a little bit of this. You just get an idea of how it goes. The guitar solo features some exciting wah-based licks. Now, as far as the wah pedal goes, this is wide open for your interpretation and your own expression to come so out. He's going to explain everything so about even, use the even some of the tone and the effects pedals that are used. He's going to get into that. I don't really care so much for that, but let's. <laughs>
I mean, there's a demo of it, and then he's just going to kind of take you through. For the next beat in the bar, we're going to cram gonna six notes into one note. beat. And this is called the six tuplet. Okay? So we're going up to the high D note. And then 13th fret of the G string, pulling off to the 12 twice in a row. And then pulling off the second time to the 10th fret. So... You can see it's really detailed, and um, you know it's just it's just a great you know, kind of clear explanation of what's going on. Really helpful for that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and go back here, and we can that that you know obviously doesn't cover a ton of what's in the song lessons. I mean, I I just kind of gravitate to all the modern rock stuff, but there is a ton of material in here. Like I said, it's it's close to a thousand songs. Uh, and I, I think that this part of the site alone is is well worth um, you know the monthly fee. I mean, it's just it's definitely they're they are better at this than I think anyone else is. Um, uh, and you know I, I've looked at at the the song sections and a lot of other sites and and Jam Plays is pretty good. Uh, I I've used them as well and they they have uh, sometimes they have artists actually come in to teach. The songs that are available on there, like they have Mike Mushak from Stained, and they have um, oh, the guy from Collective Soul. I can't remember his name. Uh, he just doesn't play for them anymore. But, but anyway, they do an okay job with it. And but uh, I mean, Guitar Tricks is very, very much far ahead of that. They're they're even farther ahead of True Fire in this department. So if songs are something you're interested in, I mean, this is a huge part of the appeal of this program. Uh, so I would definitely recommend it in, in that regard. So let's go back to the home page. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll take you through some of the some of the course materials. So another area where I've and and this is uh, reflected in the written review that I that I've done for these guys over on Guitar Chalk. Like I said, you can check that out in the description below if you want to check out the written review. Um, but in, in their beginner uh, and experienced lesson section, they, they do a really good job of kind of uh, uh, topical order and sort of prioritizing uh, topics based on skill level. You know, so for example, um, uh, if you click on the Guitar Fundamentals course, which is kind of the first beginner course that you uh, that you would go to like if you were just starting out this is taught by uh, Lisa McCormick who is really a great teacher she's not super well known um, but I've I've been through this entire course just for uh, the just for the sake of reviewing it back a uh, maybe several I don't remember how many several years ago I, I did a review for just this course uh, and and I, I went through pretty much the whole thing and you know her teaching style is great. She's very patient. She's uh, she's done a great job with, but she does the guitar fundamentals one and two courses, uh, and and she actually redid them uh, when when they had, when they had previously been been filmed and done by a different teacher. I don't remember who, um, but she did a great job. And if you look through the way they break this up, is they have chapters. So the first chapter is get to know your guitar. Pretty basic. Um, chapter two, let's learn to play, which is uh, I, I'm not crazy about the way they worded some of this stuff. Um, so they have like look, mom, two hands. Like I don't, I don't totally like think that's an obvious. It's not super obvious way to communicate what's going on inside that video, um, or inside that part of the course. Uh, but then should they go on to get a little more specific? They got simple melodies. She covers all of that. Um, just uh, very 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 easy to digest increment so this is great for beginner material uh, and you're gonna go all the way down until she gets into strumming uh, and that kind of that concludes the course so courses uh, are broken up into chapters chapter or chapters are broken up into sections uh, so just for example let's uh, let's go down here your first simple chord C and G so when you click on a section keep in mind that when you're looking at this out here, this is not a single video, right? So uh, this is this is a section of a chapter, which means you click on it, and you're going to have a bunch of different videos inside this section. <coughs> so so I guess I guess they call them tutorials. So 
again, just like in the song lesson, you click begin tutorial, it's going to start the first video for you. And uh, looks like this one doesn't have tabs or anything that go along with it. But then you have uh, your your kind of navigational content on the left, uh, I'm sorry, the right hand side of the screen here. And what it does, since you're within uh, this course, is it also dumps chapter one. You can see there, you can expand chapter one. You're in chapter two. So you can expand chapter two, and then you can look at individual videos within um, any of the chapters. So basically, excuse me, you can go through the entire course uh, from this window and, and just using this, this navigational element here. So she's going to teach us the E major chord. We can watch a little bit of that. An extra little um, challenge that might present itself here for you that you want to watch for. You already know to watch for the chord diagrams plunky in the tone bottom that's right caused corner by there. poor posture on that fingertip. But what if that high note, your high E string, what if that isn't coming out clearly? Chances are you're hitting it somewhere in here with your finger. Okay, sometimes that that eludes people because you don't really notice that that's going on. So that's just a little feel for what you can expect from some of the beginner lessons. Like I said, Lisa does a great job and they always, uh, I think for most of their material now they have the three camera angles. So you're gonna have the instructor's face, uh, you're gonna have the right hand, the, the picking, the strumming hand, and then you're gonna have their left hand here as well. And just like in the, the song lesson videos, you can speed up or slow down uh, sort of uh, as, as you need to. So that is just kind, of a, just kind of a small sample of the beginner material. And like I said, if you go and you continue down, you're, you're gonna get uh, you know, kind of a similar, um, a similar feel as as you advance in top in in topic and and through some of this other material. So she's going to cover you know, even in the first uh, course. You get into a little bit of music theory here, and playing songs in the key of G, key of C, etc. So let's go back up to the the this this chart here. They call the core learning system. This is just sort of the way they organize their content. So what what basically what this is for is is if you're a pure beginner and if you you know never really had organized guitar lessons this is meant to kind of help you organize you know they have the little start here uh, uh, icon for the first course so they're gonna have you go through that and then you go up to guitar fundamentals too and this gets you uh, sort of the rest of the basics so so the thing about learning guitar and, I, and the, one of the reasons I really like the way guitar tricks did this is because you have a lot that you have to learn in the beginning that is sort of agnostic of any sort of style you know so basically all all guitar players start off you know with the same basic set of skills that they need to learn and these two fundamental courses guitar fundamentals one and two covers all that material before it then breaks it into uh, different styles like you saw on that page so we go down again they're gonna get into uh, this is Lisa McCormick again teaching this course so he gets into power chords here in the first section you're gonna see some stuff on the major scale uh, kind of some introductory uh, lead and scale stuff a um, little bit more on power chords and then uh, they're gonna cover the the idea of a major and minor chord um, the, she's gonna get you into bar chords and open chords and some basic songs kind of the difference between those things uh, here she goes over the minor scale. Uh, that whole section, that whole chapter is in the minor scale. And then uh, in chapter seven, she'll kind of give you a little rundown of reading music. And once you've done that, you have essentially, you know, covered all of the basics. And after that, you can move into whatever style you might be interested in. And the reason they only have the three styles here, uh, level one and two for blues, country, and rock is because these are sort of the, the, the three you know, kind of bedrock guitar styles and then from those you can go into more nuanced uh, content. So let's go and, and if, if, if maybe the, the beginner stuff is, is maybe you're beyond that, you want to know what they have for some of the more advanced uh, players, um, the experience lesson section is going to go ahead and highlight these uh, six courses uh, for for the 
the more experienced people to start with. But then you can also go down here and you can break it up uh, into other styles. So like if you wanted to get into jazz, they have a section for that. And this is basically all of the content they have on jazz. And and this is where I think this is where I think guitar tricks you know could use a little bit of work for for those of you that are that are in the intermediate and advanced ca camp there, there's definitely some stuff here for you and a lot of these courses are really good like uh, this is uh, Chris Schlegel who um, teaches most of the jazz stuff and and a lot of these videos are really really good they're really meaty um, but there's just not a ton of it and this is where when you compare to sites like True Fire and Jam Play, Guitar Tricks just doesn't do as well. They do really well for the beginner, um, but they, they just don't do as well for people who are looking for some of those uh, kind of niche or smaller uh, playing styles. But um, like if you go into the, let's go into the rock level two course because that might be a little more relevant to the intermediate player. Yeah, so so this this hey is taught yeah. by uh, Anders Moritzen, and he's great. I think he's my favorite instructor on here. He does a great job with all of his stuff. So let's just go through and look at some of this. We're gonna watch a couple of these. This will have have a little bit more relevancy to uh, advanced or even intermediate players. Let's look at chord extensions. So this is chord extension and rock, and then of course you go in. You've got all your videos here. Um, Oh, it's like a basic progressions with bar chords. Let's just watch a little bit of this so you can get an idea for how Anders teaches this stuff and kind of what to expect. In this lesson, I'm going to show you the basic chord progression that we're going to be working with today. And we'll play through it with just basic bar chords. Mostly so you can get a clear picture of what it sounds like before we start experimenting with the more advanced sounds. So we're going to be in the key of C, and this is sort of a rock ballad type groove. We start in C, we go to G, go to A minor. E minor, then do F to D, and then to G for two bars. Let's get the first here. half. F one, five, six minor, five chord, then the two major, and then up to G, and then we end on the one. So with so there you get a little bit of an idea of what these lessons are like. Again, this is just one topic within a really lengthy course. Um, but again, Anders is is a great instructor, and you know he's going to cover a bunch of different things. Like you go down here, you give it to you know, more nuanced styles. Um, like he, he's got a section here on Southern rock. Let's just watch a little bit of that. All the tabs are here. First, let's come up with a riff that we can use for the intro and the outro of this song. This is going to be a variation of the classic blues riff that we've already used a bunch, but with a new feel to it and a brand new context. Check it out. So we're in the key of A for this song, and we're going to be down here in our open position, using our one finger rock and roll A chord. And then from there on, we're going to use our open position blues riff. Bomb muted, right? Right now it's just 2, 2, 4, 4, 2, 2, 4, 4 on the D string. So again, that's uh, th that's just kind of a small sample, but it's it's a good idea of what you can expect, and and yeah, all, all these these level two uh, blues, country, and rock uh, courses, those are those are going to kind of lead you into uh, some some of these other things that you might want to work on, and they like I said, the style section it, it depends on where you go, but the these generally are not gonna have a ton of content in them like the metal section uh, is is pretty good they have a lot of stuff there they have some uh, kind of style uh, they've got some uh, an Iron Maiden themed lesson uh, some stuff from George Lynch and Megadeth so it, it's you know it, it, it's not it's not that they do a bad job with this type of content uh, but but I do think that the advanced player um, will find themselves having a little bit of a, of a difficult time, you know, getting exactly what they want. Uh, and in the future, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do uh, a video uh, review on Jam Play and True Fire as well. And actually, I've I've done pretty extensive written reviews that I've linked to as well in the uh, info section. So if you if you're a more advanced player, uh, I'd probably recommend 
uh, one of those two, either True Fire or Jam Play over Guitar Tricks, uh, just because they had not, again, not because Guitar Tricks does a bad job at this, um, they just don't have the most content for this particular uh, type of player, for the player that is wanting to be a, getting into more nuanced technique. Um, so like if you click on the technique section, uh, you know, they, they really don't, they don't miss anything. Uh, you know, they cover, there's hammer-ons, pinch harmonics, uh, kind of some hybrid picking. Uh, they even go into stuff like legato and, uh, and there's, they've got a whole section on strumming. So it's, it's good. And, and I, I, if, if you just, if you like this program, there is a, still a ton of material here. Um, but I've found myself, uh, as as I've advanced, as I've played longer, gravitating a little bit uh, away from this, and I and I and I tend to use uh, guitar tricks a little bit more uh, for teaching now than I do. But but again, I I can still learn a ton of stuff from these lessons. There's still a lot of material here. Uh, and then if you go back, you click on artist studies. Uh, this is a pretty cool section. They have um, they have a whole section on ACDC. They've uh, I think there's a, the Hendrix stuff is in here as well, if I can find it. Clapton, there's a lot of Clapton fans out there. His, uh, Jack Johnson I always thought was an interesting one. I've never watched that one, but uh, there we go, the Jimi Hendrix style. So instead of uh, doing more song lessons that I guess they couldn't get licensing for, they have a bunch of um, kind of kind of in the style of, quote-unquote, in the style of Jimi Hendrix, and they go over all of his technique there. So... So you know, not not again, not to say that that the intermediate and advanced player can't find a lot to do here. They can, and if you just like Guitar Trick as a platform, like if you've had a good experience with it as a beginner and you want to keep using it, then I would advise to keep using it. Um, but but they are a little bit thin there. There's no question about that. Uh, and and I mean, as far as uh, like core based content, that's that's most of what you'll navigate. Through and they do have um, this toolbox section, which I don't really think is worth getting into at this point. It's it's just not. I don't use it much, and you know it's it's fairly it's fairly basic stuff. Like I'll go ahead and click on here just for kicks. They have some stuff like uh, these are all tools like a metronome. I've used that a good bit. Um, they have a tuner, a chord finder, just kind of, and they're actually they're I should mention their chord charts, uh, which you don't. Uh, you can have access to whether you're a member or not. I mean, you can just pull that up without even logging into the site. Uh, but I've I've used this quite a bit um, just for writing and for teaching. Uh, it's a pretty good, pretty thorough uh, catalog of chords. They have they have every chord. I mean, they they literally have every single one. They're not missing a single one. And I noticed whenever they published this, it was a few years ago. Uh, Jam play ended up. <laughs> Excuse me. Jam play ended up kind of following up and doing something similar, um, but yeah, I mean, this is just this is just a simple, you know, kind of kind of cool resource to have. It's just guitartricks.com/chords. But anyway, guys, if, you know, like like I said, they they change enough stuff here and they add enough stuff that I think um, it's worth revisiting this once every approximately year and a half. So what I might do, I'm, I'm I want to do more videos. I want to do more reviews. I want to get some of the stuff that I've put on Guitar Chalk uh, and get it in video format so some of you guys on YouTube can check this out. I know sometimes it's easier just to listen to somebody talk about it than to read it. Uh, so that's what this has been. This is just my impressions. Like I said, I've, I've used these guys for a long time. I've worked with them. It is, it is a good company. It is a great product, and I definitely recommend it, especially if you're kind of in the beginner state, if you're just trying to get started there. Their song section is great. Their topical organization is great. And uh, for particularly for the beginner, sorry, that's my cat in the background. I don't know if you can hear him. He wants outside. But, uh, anyway, particularly for the beginner, there's just a lot of stuff here. And uh, uh, again, if, if you want to check out the written review that's in the uh, uh, that's beneath the video in the info section uh, also if you want to support guitar chalk and maybe you really don't know what that is you've just come across the video you can go check it out just google guitar chalk or go to guitarchalk.com all my other reviews uh, that 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 I've uh, put up we have uh, 
we've done just just about every guitar related you know kind of online education resource we have on there so you can go check that out at guitarjock.com and if you uh, click the link in the description below for guitar tricks you can get a free trial of guitar tricks and they'll let you basically they'll let you try it for 14 days uh, and then you can either cancel or you can keep it. They'll bill you after that, but then even then you have a, an additional 60 days to cancel if it's just not your thing, if you don't like it, if you maybe want to go with Jam Player, you want to go with True Fire, you can use it for 60 days. You can cancel, they'll give you your money back. Uh, no big deal. Um, again, uh, that's uh, in the description below, so check that out. Um, that helps me keep this channel running, helps Guitar Chalk out, so I would appreciate that greatly. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments. And, you know, hopefully I can get another one of these videos out. And we'll talk to you guys again soon.